everyone we talked to said, people go down in big boats on those waterways. What are you doing in a canoe? There were a lot of letters that literally said, you will kill yourself, don't do it. He and his brother wanted to go on a canoe trip and invited me along. It sounded like a fantastic adventure to me. Her parents sent her to a psychiatrist to talk Sarah out of doing the trip. We just would dedicate every evening for months building these canoes with the dream of where you're going to go with these boats. My mom wrote, as they paddled off, I cried and I wondered whether I'd ever see my kids again. These boats are now more than 40 years old and, you know, they've been through a lot. The story of my parents' 1974 canoe trip, it's a legend in our family. It's been waiting 43 years to get finished and we don't have another 43 years to get her done, so it's got to happen this time. When you age, it's death by a million cuts. I could tell that he, you know, he wasn't a young man anymore, and it's hard to see that. It's, it scared me. I am a mountain. I don't think that adulthood is something that you do between the age of zero and thirty, and then. That's it. That's where you are. I think that's a real fallacy. The stories the parents raise their kids with have a pretty profound impact. They pass down a legacy of what they've done in the past through stories that they tell us. You know, not everyone can do the hardest route, but everyone can do their own epic journey. Follow that voice in you that says, yeah, I can do this, or I want to do this. I, I at least want to give it a shot.